Proverbs 29 and 20. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. Call Haloyim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekak Wadash. Double honor to the head elders and apostles, the bishops, a great millstone. Tell them to you, I can throughout the world. Sincerity and truth, hearing abroad. I was just meditating on this scripture. Um, and, um, well, one, it'll be edifying. You know, when you apply these scriptures, these scriptures have within them words of life, words of knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. All right. If you apply them. Okay. Now, scriptures say, seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? So what that tells me, don't be hasty to speak. Don't be hasty to say something. Okay. <clears throat> Dealing with this truth in the spirit. We are not to be this way. We are not to be hasty in our words, man. Okay. In all of our situations and circumstances. Now, we're not going to be perfect. And the Lord knows that. And the Lord sees that. And he understands our circumstances. But nonetheless, the scriptures say, Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? Because you can get real out of line with your mouth, man. And say things that you will end up regretting. Okay? Because of emotional and, you know, uh, preconceived, preconceived uh, notions that aren't true. It's just because maybe you might have had a unfortunate situation and been put in unfortunate circumstances that you never thought you would be in all right or end up being in so that can cause you to speak and say things that you will retract and you can retract and you can repent from your words but the point of the matter is to be spiritual okay to be spiritual in prayer to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, and whatever your circumstance is, you don't say something, you know, and do something that is uncomely that'll end up having the spirit hold you accountable for. So seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? Okay, because that's the way the world is. Everybody's hasty in their words. They're quick to say something. They always got something to say. Okay, they always quick to tell you how they feel and what their opinion is and what they would have did and how stupid somebody else is. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with wisdom, you're dealing with knowledge and understanding of these scriptures, you're not to be that way. So the end result is there is more hope 
of a fool. There is more hope of a fool than of him. All right, because why? Let's get the scripture in Corinthians. Let's get the scripture in Corinthians, man. See? What does it say right here? 1 Corinthians 3 and 18. It says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Okay? So if there's more hope than a fool than a person that is hasty in their words, all right, and you are not to deceive yourself because you seem to be wise in this world, What kind of spirit ought you to be in? All right. You see? In other words, we don't know nothing that we ought to know. That's what the scriptures say. And I'm going to get that. That's the that's that's the gist of the matter, man. Oh man, damn. All right, let me, let me do it this way. This this truth is this truth is terrifying, man. You're dealing with the Most High and His Son, and truth and sincerity, man. All you can do is hope and pray like heaven, man, that the Lord finds you meet for grace and mercy, man. Because this this is no joke, man. And, you know, whatever circumstances you find you might be going going through, and I'm speaking for myself, man. It's the most high you how about you now shy is way is way Way above that. The hell with your damn feelings and your emotions, man. That's how not that's not how the most high works. This is how he works. First Corinthians eight and two. If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. You see that? See that? If any man think that he knoweth anything. He knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know. You understand that? I mean, come on now. All right? I mean, come on now, man. Let's go back to Proverbs. What was that? Proverbs. Damn. I don't remember what I was at in Proverbs. Shalakia. Shalakia, I'm in this goddamn flesh, so I'm flawed and full of goddamn mistakes. I pray y'all watch me out, show have mercy on me, man. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, what does it say? Okay, let's go back to Proverbs. Bear with me, please. Boy. Dumb shit. Yes. Proverbs 29 and 20. See if thou a man that is hasty in his words, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Okay, so don't be quick to always say something, man. Don't be quick. Don't be in that spirit to always got something to say, man. 
was Yahweh Bashim Yashai will hold you accountable. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, Bashim Rakakudash. Shalom.